Today, I'm gonna challenge myself to make slime in public. But there's a catch. If I get kicked out of any of these places before I finish making my slime, I have to walk on the world's grossest slime. This wheel is gonna determine where I'm gonna make my slime, and some of these places are pretty crazy, so I'm a little nervous. Let's get into it. Ooh, what's it gonna be? The mall! Oh my gosh, okay, I love the mall. I think this one's gonna be pretty easy because malls are super chill, so let's go. We're at the mall! And we're right outside of the Skechers store, which gives me a brilliant idea. Let's make a Skechers slime. But first, I gotta get myself a pair. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> So I just got my Skechers. I'm feeling pretty cool right now, not gonna lie. <laughs> now we gotta make our Skechers slime. I have a Bingsy texture because, I mean, this texture just pops. It's so bright and crunchy. It reminds me of how boring these Skechers are. <laughs> and I'm gonna dye it blue because that is the color of the Skechers logo, right? You know, when I was little, I always wanted Skechers, specifically the Twinkle Toes. I thought they were so cool, but my mom never got them for me because she thought they were ugly. All the kids at school had them, except for me. So now, I may not have Twinkle Toes, but I'm definitely living my childhood dream right now of having some really nice Skechers. If you're not wearing Skechers, what are you doing? <laughs> like, seriously. All right, we have our slime ready. It's a bit sticky, not gonna lie, but I didn't bring activator. We're working with what we have, okay? Let's add it to our little cup right here. Let's, let's take a look at our little charms over here. We have some beautiful jelly stars. I mean, this screams twinkle toes. So let's add some on our slime. These stars represent the ones on the Skechers that light up. I think they look amazing. And then for the sprinkles, we have a lot of shiny, girly little hearts and whatnot. I mean, this right here is twinkling, but it's time for our amazing one and only Twinkle Toe. Shout out to Hyro for making this wonderful Skecher. It's such a unique shoe, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. I love this one-of-a-kind twinkle toe, but you know what? It needs to twinkle on top of our slime. Oh, yeah. Dude, oh my gosh. There we have it, our limited edition one and only twinkle toes Skecher slime. First one down, let's spin the wheel and see what our next location is. Oh, restaurant, okay. I guess that means I get to pick the place we're going to. You know where I'm going. Okay, so we're at the Cheesecake Factory. I just ordered a cheesecake. I really hope I don't get kicked out, but we're gonna make a key lime cheesecake slime. It looks so good. Woo! Okay, let's make a slime. We have our wonderful cheesecake right here, and this is gonna be the inspiration for our slime. So for the crust, I'm gonna use a snow fizz because we got that right texture. Because snow fizz is the perfect texture for a crust, nice and crunchy. I don't know why I'm a little scared. I feel like we could get kicked out. I'm really trying not to. Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course, this is gonna be gloom free. It was a close one. I like moved the slime to the side and kind of hit it. Okay, but we're good. Let's keep making our slime. All right, so for the filling of the cheesecake, I'm gonna use a butter slime because just check that out. It's like the perfect texture. Looks like the filling. All right, I'm gonna get my I'm gonna try to get that same crust color. As you can tell, it's like a sandy color. A little bit goes a long way. Oh, I love snow fizz because it's just like perfect, crunchy, sizzly slime. Great for ASMR if you're into that. I know I am. Okay, I gotta admit, it's not the same color. But you know what? I brought some yellow. And you know how it goes when we add some yellow. It really brightens it up. Just a little bit of that. There we go. That should get it to a nice shade. You know, I love key lime cheesecake. That is my favorite dessert. Growing up, I would always sit in my backyard with my best friend and we would always have some cheesecake, some key lime pie. <laughs> What's really cool about this one is that it's also a cheesecake. You believe that? It's like the perfect dessert. Okay, I mean, see? You just gotta trust. Look at that. It's perfect. I'm really proud of myself, like, that looks good. Okay, let's move on to the filling. You know what, in my head, I was thinking that key lime cheesecake looked a little bit more green, but now that I'm looking at it, that's totally beige. I think I'm just gonna add some yellow in it, mix it up, call it big. That might have been a little too much yellow. Okay, that is looking good. It's giving lemon cheesecake. That's all right. I, I can kind of tell that they're getting kind of annoyed of us, so let's just assemble the slime. Since this is a key lime pie, Slime. We gotta make sure that we add the crust just like we would on one of those pie uh, 
what are they called? Trays. <laughs> okay, so it, that's what I would do. I would give it a good little crust just like that. And then check this out. Oh yeah. Give it a nice little design at the top. That looks amazing. Okay, but to top it off, I have some really cute lime sprinkles. Just add those on. Okay, the last thing I want is to make a mess. I'm already doing it. <sighs> All right, but the finale. So this key lime pie has a perfect little tiny lemon. Mine is obviously way bigger, but look at that. This looks amazing, and honestly, we're doing so good so far. I thought I would get kicked out for a second when the waiter brought our food, but no, we're good. And we completed a song. What a success. So I'm gonna eat this pie and let's move on to the next one. Okay, Cheesecake Factory was pretty easy. You know, I almost got caught there, but nothing's gonna stop me from making my slime. Let's see what the next place is. Dude, Chuck E. Cheese? I haven't been to a Chuck E. Cheese since I was like nine years old. I honestly don't even like Ch Chuck E. Cheese, but let's go make a slime. We're at Chuck E. Cheese right now. You know what? This was all gonna be business, but hey, I just saw my favorite game back there, Jumping Fantasy. So I got my little card. Let's game for a bit. Oh, with the Skechers? Come on, I'm going hard mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I lost. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm way better at this than you think. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 all right. Let's see what else we can find. All right, so we played some games, I got my pizza, and now it's time to make a slime. So at the mall, it seemed like nobody really cared that I was making slime and I didn't get kicked out, which is great. And I'm hoping the same thing happens here at Chuck E. Cheese. So far, it seems like a pretty chill atmosphere. Just a bunch of kids being kids. <laughs> okay, let's make our slime. So, you know, the colors here at Chuck E. Cheese are very like bright and fluorescent. So I wanna go for like a yellow and a purple because I feel like those are the colors of Chuck E. Cheese, are they? I don't even know it. There's like so many colors everywhere. But you know what? His shirt is purple and yellow, so it's perfect. We gotta be a little sneaky because I already feel some people staring. We're not trying to get kicked out, all right? I really do not want to put my feet in the world's grossest slime. Ah. I have nightmares just thinking about that. All right, for this slime, we're doing a half and half. We're gonna do a really fun little pattern because this is a really fun place. Jesse's looking at me with a face of like, don't add too much. He knows. Okay, so far we have a very nice bright yellow. I had so much fun in the jumping fantasy game when I was little, I was so good at it. I think I was better at it than I am now. And I just have the best memories of going to Chuck E. Cheese with my mom after school. It was the best time. I also had a lot of my birthday parties at Chuck E. Cheese. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I felt like the coolest kid in town having my Chuck E. Cheese birthday parties. Our yellow is looking good. Let's move on to our purple. And by the way, I went with a butter base because it kind of has the look of cheese, which is super on theme with our nice pizza here. Can't wait to eat it. I'm just staring at it. I really want a slice. But yeah, like I was saying, I actually ate Chuck E. Cheese. I'm a Mr. Gaddy's girl. <laughs> but today I'm not. Okay, today I'm a Chuck E. Cheese girl. Comment down below if you like Chuck E. Cheese or Mr. Gaddy's. Which one do you like better? Jesse thinks Mr. Gaddy's is lame. <laughs> so we didn't go there. Anyways, this is a nice little shade of purple here. It's also almost my birthday. Might have a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese if I don't get kicked out. Now, it's time to combine our colors here. Gotta take our gloves off. I already see a worker staring at me right now. And I have a feeling that we could get kicked out. So let's hurry up. Okay. Nice little twist. Looks like a beautiful candy. Let's squish it in our slime. Let's get rid of the top here. Okay, so our slime is almost ready. We gotta add the charms and the sprinkles. Check this out. I got a bunch of these little swirly, I don't know what these are, but they look really cool and they kind of resemble like the arcade vibes that we have going on here at Chuck E. Cheese. So let's add a little bit of those. This looks like a birthday cake, doesn't it? Like an ice cream cake. This looks like an ice cream cake. Okay, I also have a little game controller, and the one and only Chuck E. Cheese himself. I know you guys think this is a koala, but it's not. It's clearly Chuck. And to top it off, we got a little pizza. 
This slime is awesome. It's screaming Chuck E. Cheese right now. And oh, I just want to squish it. This one's for you, Chuck. Oh, we did it. All right, we did it, guys. We made a slime and we didn't get kicked out. It's time to eat my pizza and then let's move on to the next one. All right, we just got back from Chuck E. Cheese and honestly, that was so easy. And I had a lot of fun. I don't know why I was hating so much on that place. But let's see what our final place is. Dude, Six Flags, are you kidding me? Oh my God, okay, I'm so excited. This is gonna be the best one. I wonder if they're gonna let me take my slime on a roller coaster. Let's find out. All right, we found a place to sit and make our slime. We just passed through security and they even took a picture of us. And Jesse snuck all of these things in. I mean, he brought like literally everything. So, so good so far. Wait, what am I saying? So far, so good. <laughs> okay, what I'm gonna do for the slime is theme it after Superman. So something that I didn't know is that I thought the Superman ride was a completely different ride. Turns out it's the one with the huge drop and I'm definitely not going on that. That's terrifying. Jesse totally fooled me into thinking it was another ride. But anyways, we're still gonna make our slime themed after that ride. So what we're gonna do for the slime is cut it in half and do like a red and a blue twist. We had to be extra sneaky with the dyes and everything so we wouldn't get caught. So we brought it in like these little containers. So what I'm gonna do is just dip it in there. Gosh, I haven't been to Six Flags in so long. I'm so happy to be here as soon as I walked in. Just put me in such a good mood. I can't wait to get on so many rides and who knows, maybe bring the slime with me on the ride. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, I didn't bring activator and our slime is starting to get a little sticky so I'm not gonna add any more dye. I don't wanna make a mess. Let's move on to the blue. You know what? I'm starting to think about how I'm making a Superman slime for a ride that I'm not even gonna ride. Like that's ridiculous. Should I go on it? I probably should. I should get it out of my system and beat my fears, right? If I don't, that would be super lame. You know what? I'm a lot of things. I'm a slime influencer. I'm a girl, but I'm not a coward. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go on the ride. I'm so scared. I'm honestly freaking out. Like, I'm not gonna lie. On the way here, I literally told Jesse, like, wait, I don't even know how it started, but he was like, you're gonna go on the Superman ride. And I was like, oh yeah, like whatever. I've been on that one before. And he like described it. And I was like, wait a minute. That's not the ride I'm thinking about. Is it the one with the drop? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, you fooled me. You literally fooled me. I had no idea I was making a slime for that ride. I thought it was a completely different ride. I started freaking out. Like, I'm literally about to cry I was so scared. I don't want to go on that ride. Anyways, so we got some nice colors here. I mean, look at that. They're popping. What we're gonna do, start making our twist. Check this out. Oh yeah, let's put it in our cup. Dude, that looks awesome. All right, now let's get a little crazy with it. It looks like kind of like a ice cream. I can tell that security's already been keeping an eye out on us. So we got to finish this slime and make it good because I do not want to walk on the world's grossest slime. Okay, so this is what we have for the charms star because Superman is out there saving lives. We have a world because he's Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> he's in like 36 different cities in one night and a lifesaver because he's saved a lot of families out there and he's just made better lives for everyone. Also, Superman's colors are like red, blue, and yellow, right? So for the sprinkles, we have some stars. I think this will look really nice with the red and blue that we already have going on. I'd say we're done. We finished our slime and it looks amazing. And you know what? We didn't get caught. So I'm not walking on the grossest slime, yes! But I think I signed myself up for something worse. I'm not doing it. <laughs> 